Dragons, my name is Vork, and today we are making, uh, today we are making a New Year's shot. This is the ball drop bomb. This recipe is going to have one ounce of absinthe going with lucid. This recipe is also going to have half ounce of rum chata. Awesome stuff, awesome cream liqueur. This recipe is also going to have half ounce of southern comfort. And we're also going to get a half ounce of pomegranate twist mix. Which is basically grenadine. Hehe. <laughs> so, let's get started, shall we? And yes, I finally have a table. Anyway, we're going to start out with the absinthe. One ounce. We'll get these out of the way. But they'll still be in view, sort of. Just to sort of give it their spotlight, really. So. So. One ounce. Absinthe. One ounce. A lot of absinthe in there. The green fairy right here. So, we'll set that aside. Right over here. Next, we'll start our layer. Ing. So... We'll start out with rum chata. Half ounce. Good stuff. At least I think so. Set that right in here. Rum chata. Rum chata, awesome stuff. And now we'll give it a half ounce of grenadine. And if you're wondering why I'm putting the grenadine, the uh, rum chata in first, is because you never really know how rum chata is going to act. So, yeah. So now we'll give it the layer. There's a little curdle effect going on there, looks like. Hmm. And last but not least, Southern Comfort. Half ounce. Doesn't really matter if it mixes now, because, yeah. Here's our layer. We got the grenadine at the bottom. I'm chata right in the middle with this sort of mixing with the grenadine for a nice cool effect. And you got the rum, the uh, Southern Comfort right on top. And here's our absinthe shot. And we could give it a little bit more more absinthe. 
Yeah, that's fine. So, out and a half of absinthe, roughly. Depending on what size top glass you have. Then we're gonna do it like this. Now we're gonna shake up. We're gonna fill the half. We're gonna fill this pint glass halfway with pumpkin spice latte from Bolt House Farms. I was gonna use eggnog, but they were out. So we'll go with this. Oh, and I have a new shirt. <laughs> so let's do this. Ready. And we're gonna wedge them right on top, right like so. Can we wedge them? That's cool, fine. Whatever. Long as it works. <laughs> Typically when you use when you do it a bomb shot like this, you'd use like Shot glasses like something like this, and they wedge perfectly. But these are kind of offset, really. And here we have the ball drop. Here we have the ball drop bomb shot. This is gonna be it. This is gonna put hair on your chest, that's for sure. So, as you can see, I have a setup. So this is gonna fall in. And I'm gonna take the shot of absinthe. So. Let's do this shit, yo! It's different, but very nice. Obviously, from the first from the first shot, you get nothing but absinthe. But then, as you sh as you take this, you get a nice pumpkin spice rum chata flavor. A little bit of southern comfort. It's a very nice shot. But yeah. <laughs> this is pretty much the chaser part, so you're doing a shot of absinthe followed by this going in for the shape for the chaser, and then you're getting a nice combined with the absinthe, you're getting a nice little pumpkin spice flavor, as well as some um, <coughs> uh, excuse me. Yeah, you also get a nice rum chata flavor, followed by a little bit of southern comfort. We also get a little bit of a dryness from the pomegranate, but the absinthe is pretty much dominant over all the flavors because that's pretty much the first thing that's in your mouth. It like that's pretty much the thing that's coating your mouth the whole way. Like absinthe coats your mouth from the first time you shoot it, and then it kind of mixes with the rum chata, southern comfort, and pumpkin spice flavor, along with a little bit of pom pomegranate. All right, the ball drop bomb. Thank you for watching. My name is Work for Drink with Dragons. Happy New Year and drink responsibly.